The internet claims are unfounded Diddy has become one of the most reviled figures in popular culture. The bad boy mogul has fallen from grace in months, despite being on top of the music industry for decades. Countless insiders have come forward with stories of Diddy assaulting, intimidating, or threatening them. These stories date back to the 1980s, which is why fans have been fascinated by the possibility of a Kim Porter memoir. The late model had three kids with Diddy over the course of a decade. If anything were to have insight into his mind, it'd be her. Sadly, no such memoir exists, Ebony Electra, Porter's close friend, debunked the memoir rumor on July 31st. The woman took to Instagram to assert that Porter had no plans to publish a book before her death in 2018. I'm gonna say this as loud as I can, Electra wrote. Kim Porter never drafted nor wrote a book, memoir, or manuscript. Quick lesson, allegedly means when something is said to be true but has not been proved. The woman then took journalists to task for using the word allegedly while continuing to use unfounded rumors to draw attention. The rumor suggested that Kim Porter detailed her experiences with Diddy and his alleged abuse behind the scenes. That being said, Electra made it clear that no such stories would have been shared about the man Porter had three children with. There is no book, she asserted yet again. There never was. Several people continue to speak about and spread blatant lies regarding this mystery manuscript as if it were true. People. It's not. Kim would never do such a thing, and that's the honest-to-God truth. Ebony Electra gave a eulogy at Kim Porter's funeral, according to Sandra Rose. She spoke reverently of her late friend and the sisterly bond they shared. She also worked alongside Porter as one-third of the company, Three Brown Girls. The mother of Diddy's children may not have wanted to share her personal life with the world, but several accounts of the mogul's behavior has come to light since her death. Kim Porter admitted that Diddy would call her upwards of 60 times a day when the two were separated, and Diddy was dating Jennifer Lopez in the late 1990s. It was like my life was not my own, she told Essence. He was very, very intrusive. 